So you've got a Harry Potter book and you think it might be valuable, but how do you know if it's worth anything? Let's go back to the beginning. In 1997, no one had heard of J.K. Rowling. Bloomsbury took a huge gamble and published a children's book about magic that no one else wanted. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Only 500 first editions were published. 300 of them disappeared into the British library system and the other 200 were used to spread the word about the boy wizard. Those first editions have become the holy grail of rare Harry Potter books. In 2005, eight books sold a first edition for $36,000 and they are very scarce. A journalist on London's Daily Telegraph newspaper interviewed Rowling just after the publication of the book. A few days later, when he was back at the office, he tossed the first edition into a bin thinking it was just another kid's book. Imagine that. Those Philosopher's Stone first editions are hardcovers. The copyright page has a number line that reads 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it credits Joanne Rowling, not J.K. Rowling. True first editions of the first four Harry Potter books have regularly sold for four-figure price tags on eight books, but this market has tailed off. First editions of the final three Potter books are not worth anything, as millions were printed. So what else makes one of her books valuable? Well, did JK sign your book? In the early days, before she became a megastar, she signed lots of books, but that changed when she became more successful. During the Harry Potter glory years of 2003 to 2007, a book signed by Rowling could sell for several thousand dollars. A deluxe set of the first six novels signed by the author sold for $16,000 in 2006 on eight books. But again, prices for signed Harry Potters are falling. Since the publication of The Deathly Hallows, Books signed by Rowling at her special signing events include a holographic sticker to authenticate the signature. Books that have been signed by the illustrator have some value, but simply do not compare to books that have been signed by Rowling herself. There are many books that have been printed with upside down covers, but these are mere curiosities. Also, books that have been signed by members of the movie cast have no real value.